Hello Otaku Fujoshi and the Anime Curious, my name is RandomSama613, and this is Anime Opinions. This week I'm going to talk about the latest installment in the Black Lagoon franchise, and that is Black Lagoon Roberta's Blood Trail. Now for those of you unfamiliar with Black Lagoon, I did reference it in my first video, Top 5 Anime to Start With. It is one of my favorite action animes of all time, I would argue, and this takes place directly after the, the second season. If you have not seen the first season, as I've said, I highly, highly recommend it and you will need it to understand what's going on in this five-episode OVA series, as it does reference prior things that happened in the story. It was done by Jenny on Entertainment, published by Funimation in the States. I'm a few years late on this. It came out back in 2010. I believe it was English in 2011. I got the dub in 2011. So, starting right up, the opening is a remix of the original opening from the first two seasons, which is Red Fraction by Mel. This is the I.O. remix, and I think it was it's really good, and it's an excellent remix, and it fits really well with the series still, because the opening was good to begin with. The ending, I can't remember what it's a remix of, but it's also very good. So, the music, the music quality has always been very good with Black Lagoon, and they've kept it up with this particular series. Uh, the animation quality is still very good, it's a kind of grittier animation style, which I really like. It has a lot more shadow lines, the lines are a little bit lighter, but at the same time they have some great shadowing, which really helps to portray just what kind of people they are, and it makes it more, feel more realistic, like these people are actually real. The character development within this series is fantastic. It primarily develops Rock's character, and it goes into more of Revy's backstory a little bit more. You get to find out more what happened to her in her childhood, the made her who she is. You get to find out a little bit more about Balalaika, not a ton. You get to find out more about Roberta, being as the arc is named after her. For those of you who don't remember Roberta, Roberta is from one of the original arcs. I believe she's from the second arc in the main series. And she is the maid of the Lovelace family, and this time she's trying to avenge the death of the Lovelace patriarch, which is Garcia Lovelace's father. And she's come to Rowan of her to chase down the American Special Forces team that committed, that, that killed him and that's the basic backdrop. Her character development is very interesting. It introduces you more to what she was like prior to joining the Lovelace family as a maid, which is really interesting. I really like that. I like having my characters developed more, and it was really good for that. Uh, the action sequences look great, but that's to be expected of Black Lagoon. I haven't seen a bad one from Black Lagoon. The story was, was also very good. I think it's one of the best arcs. It's also the longest arc. In the manga, it takes up two and a half novels. When the longest one before that was about a novel and a half. So, definitely a longer arc, and it was definitely one of the better ones. The comedy sections are really good, just to lighten the mood a little bit. Most of them have to do with Lot and the Wizard, who was introduced in Greenback Jane, which is the arc that takes place before Fujiyama Gangster Paradise, the final arc in Second Barrage, but is technically the last, the prior arc in the manga. They just reordered slight. Just for one of the other things that just makes this so badass is... I think it's the first or second episode when you when they run to Roberta and they're having their first big fight with her. She's using a 50 caliber anti-material rifle with a six-round grenade launcher strapped to the bottom of it. So it's completely ridiculous and completely awesome. It is just so badass. The only downside to this series is that you have to have watched the prior Black Lagoon series. Otherwise, you, you'll be missing a ton of backstory. It will still be very enjoyable to watch if you enjoy seeing things explode, but... It won't be as memorable and it won't make as much sense, which is unfortunate because it's a really good franchise. And I think it's one of, as I've said, it's one of my favorite action franchises. So I do highly recommend it. Very highly recommend both series. But what did you guys think? If you've seen it, if you have, or if you haven't, go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of it. As I said, I thought it was very well done. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please leave those in the comments as well. I actually got a suggestion. I can't remember the user's name. I'm sorry. But I was uh, asked if I could do a top 10 dubbed anime list, and I will be doing so. It'll probably be in a couple of weeks, because I already have some stuff planned. But I will get to that eventually. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to the channel. I, I think I have two subscribers, and I know I'm getting more views than that. I would really appreciate a subscription. It does tell me that you want to see my videos. Uh, they do come out every Thursday. And I try and keep it up at the same time, relative date every week. Follow me on Twitter. I do tweet out every time I upload a video. I sometimes upload not on Thursdays for stuff like unboxings or episode reviews or things like that. I also will occasionally just post some silly things about whatever I'm watching. So it's, it's worth following me just for the occasional things. I also have a Tumblr where, I'll, where I reblog all sorts of things. So please follow me on socials. It really does help me out. It lets me know that I'm doing something right. But I'm RandomSama613, this has been Anime Opinions, and until next time, watch more anime.